The White Bear Lake branch we're in today will temporarily close starting in early June for a renovation. With me today to talk about this is the Ramsey County Library Deputy Director Sandy Walsh and Sue Garretts, who is the Director of the Friends of the Ramsey County Library. I want to thank both of you for being with me here today and welcoming me into the White Bear Lake Library. Uh, now, first off, before we get into talking about what's going to be happening here at the White Bear Lake Library, uh, what exactly is the Friends of the Ramsey County Library? We are the nonprofit organization, Joe, that since 1979 has been raising private funds to support all kinds of vital programs and services in the suburban Ramsey County libraries. And we have also, in the last 10 years, done four capital campaigns, so this will be our fifth. Great. And Sandy, what exactly do you do in your role as the deputy director? And I understand it's over the whole Ramsey County system, not just White Bear Lake, right? Mm -hmm. Um, I have a sort of varied portfolio. I do planning and facilities and website stuff and statistics and policies and procedures and miscellaneous lots of things. So Great. And as yeah, I mentioned, really we're, we're here today in the uh, White Bear Lake branch and this is, branch has been around for a long time. Can you tell me a little bit about this and why there's a need for uh, doing a project here? Well, there's been a library on the site for 100 years. It's the 100th birthday of the library this year, which is really an exciting thing that we're able to break ground on a new building in the 100th year. Um, but this building itself was built in the early 70s. And it, aside from minor facelifts, it really hasn't had a remodel since then. So um, with technology and library services having changed so much in that time, it's really overdue. And it seems like this has been a long time coming. I know over the years that you've had, you know, meetings with the community to get their input to see what they would like. And, um, you know, it seems to be a very popular library. So I know people still want one in their community. Can you kind of tell me um, what, what kind of things can we expect from the project here? Well, one of the things we'll be doing is, although it's a really constricted site, we're able to um, really tear off the front of the building and, um, and rebuild it as a large rectangle so we'll be adding almost 4,000 square feet um, which will give us a little extra elbow room. The children's area will be larger and improved. We'll have pre-literacy areas for the little tiny kids. We have a better teen area, separate teen area, uh, group study areas, um, much more efficient staff workspaces. And then some of the things like the, the restrooms in the current building aren't ADA accessible. That will all be updated, um, fire suppression systems, that kind of thing. It really needs to be brought into the 21st century. Now, um, Sue, what, what is the role then of the Friends of the Ramsey County Libraries? How, how do you guys factor in with this whole project here? Well, the county will fund the basic building and construction and furnishings um, that it will make a, a nice building, but we're responsible for adding the amenities that will make it really special for people and very welcoming, warm environment. So the kinds of things that we'll be raising money for are things like a fireplace, um, interactive literacy building, equipment for preschool kids, um, we are going to be taking on an outdoor patio so that when the weather allows, people can get some fresh air while they're reading. Uh, these Art, uh, the county does not have a budget for art, and art is an important component of culture and of libraries. So we will be seeking local artists uh, and trying to raise the money to pay for the work. So those are the kinds of things that we'll be doing. Um, as the plans get further along, there will be things that we expect the county will find that they want to have, but there's not enough money for. So that's where we get our final list, our final wish list. And then we work with the community. We are organizing a capital campaign committee right now for this library and seeking volunteers who are willing to help with fundraising events or just talking with people or communications. So if anybody is interested in that, I would hope they would contact me and I believe our friend's phone number will be on the screen. So. Definitely. 
I understand, you know, guys have been through this before. I understand you've been working with this system for a long time, so I'm sure you've been through this many times. And I know in recent years we've seen, you know, uh, updated libraries in your new locations, you know, from Maplewood and updated in Roseville. So I'm sure, you know, guys have kind of been through this before, but I understand June 5th will be the last day that uh, yes. the library will be open for mm -hmm. a while here. Yeah, we're staying open through the end of the school year. And then we'll be closing down on June 6th and taking the month of June to pack and ready the building so we can turn it over to the construction company. The Friends will be holding a book sale uh, toward the end of June. I think it's June 26th through 28th in conjunction with Manitou Days. Mm -hmm. It also will include library furnishings and so not just books for this sale. Great. And, and where will that sale be? Right held? here. Oh, right here? Okay, so people come back in and... Um, and then the hope is to uh, open the brand new uh, library here in February? Yes. February of 2015. That's cool. mm -hmm. Okay. And will you be kind of having some events or anything to welcome the public sure, back? Sure, yeah. I'm sure we will. We haven't gotten to that stage of planning yet, but yes. That's always exciting part. I know we've, we were there to cover some of the events for both Maplewood and Roseville. It's always exciting when you, people can see their new library right. again, I'm sure. Are, are you directing? people then, you know, who normally would use this as their home library, um, you know, should they just go then to, you know, like Maplewood or some place for those months? Sure, yeah. Um, their request items will automatically go to Maplewood unless they ask to have them sent somewhere else. Um, and we will have some programming in town. I think the history programs and the Mystery Book Club are going to be at the uh, City Hall. And Story Times will be at it's Pioneer Manor. It's like four blocks away from here. It's a city-owned senior facility, and they have a community room that's really nice. That so be people safe. still will be able to do some things in the area, and, right. and you know how time goes so fast. Before we know it, it'll it'll be February again. Yes, yes, and all the um, interim services and updates on the project are on the library's website. So if people are interested, they should take a look. Yeah, I know. So there you can see all the details, how much it's going to cost. The right. you know the different renderings and we'll show some of those on the screen as well and um, so as you mentioned you know we put your contact on the screen so you're looking for donations you're looking for volunteers yes. any way people could help yes we have lots of different ways that people can help and if they have any interest at all I hope they will give me a call and uh, I would love to talk with them well it seems like a lot of people are excited I know um, I use this library often and you do see everybody from the really little tiny kids to I see senior citizens in here. I mean, and everybody in between. So it's definitely a well-loved library. It's I'm a sure. community place for sure. People will be excited. Is there anything else you two would like to add before we have to end? Uh, the only thing I would like to add is that um, if people are interested, there is also a place on the website where they can sign up to get email notices about um, new developments in the project. Great. Yeah, and I might add, I, I'm signed up for those, and you get about this, and also the library newsletter. You can right. see all the different activities throughout the county, so it's a great way to, to be in the know, I guess, what's going on here. Well, I want to wish you both the best of luck with this project. Thank and you. And we'll hopefully be back here uh, in February to show everybody what it looks like. Absolutely. We're excited about it. Yes. Yeah, thanks. Thanks a lot. And it's time for a short break. We'll be right back with more of our special library edition of Northeast Journal in just a minute.